Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the Retract from Keras Pen Company. It's a really cool pen. I've been carrying it for three weeks now. I actually left it at home and started carrying a $10 uh, Parker Jotter just to see if it would change my mind on this review. And I gotta say, it didn't change my mind at all. I love this pen and I think uh, after his review, hopefully I can make the right recommendation for you guys. Starting from the bottom, it runs on a G2 cartridge. And I've um, been liking it a lot. I've been finding this um, pot G2 pens just laying around the whole house. And I've been taking out um, the G2 cartridges, just changing the colors. I have turquoise, purple, green, black, blue. All kinds of colors, really. And uh, I've really been liking that. It's a common cartridge. It's a cheap one. And they have a lot of colors. So that's positive. Um, the body is really nice, it's really thick, uh, the finish is really cool, but they have all kinds of different finishes. You can mix and match, uh, you can get it in copper, that takes the weight up to 2.5 ounces, and the brass one as well. Uh, but usually aluminum one, it's about an ounce, and they have all kinds of colors and finishes for them. Um, and then moving on up after the body, um, there's the threads. The threads are really nice. They're milled out extremely nicely. <laughs> you can see my uh, Mont Blanc <laughs> cartridge here that I uh, made a cheap uh, modification on. But anyways, the threads are really nice. Uh, they came in a little loud, but they worked in themselves. So now they don't make any noise. Uh, if you're the kind of guy that likes to take apart their pens, I am. And then the rest of the pen, uh, it's really cool same finished um the clip is really strong and it's made really well um it's kind of thick but you can use it on jeans you can use it on shirts etc um slacks i know i wear them all and i've been liking this clip uh the knurling's cut really nicely it's like really deep aggressive knurling the fasteners are nice and deep and strong i haven't taken the clip off but you know i haven't had to um you can see they ran the knurling square, but the clip is round off, so you can see uh, the square is there. But that's okay. Um, the clicky mechanism is all made out of metal, and it doesn't really, and it has nice threads too. And it doesn't really click, it just slides into place, and then when you press on it again, it slides back up. Oh, sorry. It works well, feels nice, it feels a lot more luxurious than the Parker Jotter Click. It's a lot more pleasant of a mechanism. And, I mean, on the bad stuff, uh, it's $60, you know. I got it for 50 I think, and, you know, it's kind of pricey. When you tell people, you know, you bought a $50, $60 pen, they're like, what, you know. And this one's just 10, you know, I mean, so. But, and the other negative is that when they were polishing the pen, I'll take a photo of it, because I don't think I'm gonna get it here. They polished the pen a little too much on the tip, and it made, you can see it right there. It made it a little bit uneven. Uh, I don't mind that, but it is something that I noticed. Um, that's the only negative I can see. It's kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it's all machined out of a solid piece of metal, you know, 100% metal everywhere. Uh, there's some O-rings up here, but you can buy those. I mean, this pen will last you a lifetime. Uh, this one, if you drop it or you run over it with a car, it will be destroyed. <laughs> Not that you will run over it with a car. I'm just saying this one won't be, you know. I've seen 50 year old Parker pens, uh, Karis is a new company, but if you like, uh, into, if you're into the machining aesthetics, you will love this pen, and if you're into EDC and you're looking to buy a really strong pen, I mean, this is a good option, but um, for the most part, I'm going to be recommending Parker IM or Parker Jotter for most people, but if you're willing to spend the money on a nicer pen, this is a good recommendation. Um, the next pen I'm buying to review is going to be the Hender, just because it's a really common pen and I really want an around the same price and I really want to um, compare them. But 
you know, this was a short video because there's not a whole lot you can talk about a pen. I'm going to be putting in a clip of me writing with it uh, on the G2 and on the Parker. And on the Parker, uh, I mean on the Mont Blanc cartridge, I just modified it a little bit. And um, <laughs> I've been enjoying writing with it a lot. Uh, my favorite writer actually is the uh, Parker Crank Easy Flow. Uh, for taking notes, but for a signature on a receipt or something, the Mont Blanc Mystery Ink in black is super cool. And this is the bold one. So it's like super thick. And I'll show you a video and I'll show you how I did the modification.